everybody this is your boy Eric and um, I just wanted to make a brief video explaining my incredible experience that I had on the show let's make a deal with Wayne Grady um, so yeah I had to kind of keep it to myself for about six months um, we taped it six months last year um, there's a video on my channel of when I went um, to LA <clears throat> so uh, we was there for my best friend's birthday and it actually taped on the day of her birthday. Um, I remember before we went on to the show, um, just trying to figure out who we were gonna be as far as characters or costumes, because we knew, you know, um, we needed to stand out. And so, and I used to watch the show, you know, every morning um, along with Price is Right, you know, when I was working from home. And so, um, my character choices were between Tyler the Creator, because I knew that would stand out, especially with him um, introducing his new character, Igor, from uh, his new album, Igor, you know. So uh, it was between him and it was between Pinky from Friday, for, for Friday After Next, so, um, or Next Friday, both. And so, uh, you know, I knew I could be I really could be any character because I'm goofy in general. So, um, but if I would have been Pinky, I would have been just as crazy as his character. So anyway, um, we decided who we were gonna be. I went ahead and you know brought a blazer from um, an Amazon, like a blue blazer, and I felt the need to put like some flowers and some rhinestones on it just to kind of you know put some effort into the outfit in general. Um, so and then I bought the wig also from Amazon. And actually, you know, since the show has um, been aired. A lot of people are like, man, you were shaking that wig. I'm gonna get to that point of how that wig was so secure. It was already a tight wig in general, so I was able to shake it and move it any way I wanted to. And I knew I was gonna be crazy and really live that character and embody that character. So anyway, so we'll fast forward a little bit more and it's the day of us having to arrive. Um, we're arriving now to the place and you know, we're kind of putting the finishing touches to our costumes or whatnot. And, um, we knew we weren't going to be able to have our phones and stuff like that anyway, so we kind of just left them in the car. And um, when I say we, it's just my best friends. It was three of us that all went together. So um, we get there, and it was already, you know, a pretty good line of people who were there um, a little bit early. We were there early as well. And, um, you know, you have some of the staff and crew um, getting our paperwork and everything. And so, you know, we fill out the paperwork and the whole time, you know, I'm just dancing, you know, giving energy, giving vibes and stuff like that, you know, really trying to seize the moment. And so, um, maybe not too long later, we're in the line and everybody, you know, you see everybody in their costumes and, you know, looking all goofy and funny, really just trying to stand out, you know, to the, um, to the crew and the staff that's there. And so, um, sooner or later, you know, we did another thing of paperwork or whatnot, you know, agreement forms and stuff. And um, we got our tag, our name tags and stuff. And, you know, they were playing a lot of music. So of course that entails for you to just, you know, keep on dancing and showing energy. And I was, you know, doing all I could do to really just stand out, you know, genuinely I'm all about positive energy anyway. So I was talking, being social to everybody. Um, Cause you're not knowing, you know, who works, who who's pretending to audition or whatnot. So it's like, you know, if you want it bad enough, you know, you gotta put in the work. So for anybody that gets selected to be on any game show, whatever like that, I have a mad respect. I have mad respect for them because I believe you had to exert so much energy um, in order to get picked. So finally, you know, we're doing groups of um, like 15 or 20 at a time um, where they did like a quick, you know, question back and forth with each individual just to kind of get an idea of who you are and what you came as and you know just to kind of you know feel you out whether or not you'll be good for tv if you're you know a good character or a recognizable character or not you know just you know the pretty pretty much the protocol of things and so you know that's that's your time to shine right there and to really deliver how you would perform on camera you know and i really didn't i kind of started to forget that it was a game show <laughs> So I pretty much just wanted to be a character and, um, you know, just be on TV f for the main part of it all or to just be on TV really. But, you know, I had fun and the staff was incredible. You know, I was making them laugh and, um, you know, they were playing songs like karaoke like and we were all just singing. Everybody was getting along. We met a lot of incredible people there. 
from all walks of life. And so, um, so that was great, you know, just laughing and just having a good time with everybody as we're all getting tired together. So we finally, um, after, after like the short group questionnaires and stuff like that, and um, kind of getting an idea of who they're gonna select um, for the show, uh, we went into a holding area, and um, this is where they kind of just gave us the do's and don'ts, what to expect, to be grateful, to, to have fun, um, to remember this is a show, so we're looking for high energy at all times. You know, things that you would hope is common sense to anybody. If, you, if you're watching TV, kind of got to give the people what they want and so you have to kind of look at it look at it from their angle um, but also be genuine because they can spot fakeness too and so um, after that was done and mind you at this point it's almost like two two and a half hours of doing all this early in the morning so then we finally take uh, two buses to get to the actual set of where it's taped and aired so we get there it's finally settling in now as we're getting there and um, you know, everybody's getting hype. It's, it's becoming real and real and real the closer the time gets for us to actually get on set. And um, so we finally get there. We're all, you know, sat in different areas of the audience or whatnot. And um, I was so hungry at this point. If anybody knows me, you know I love to eat. I love to eat. I'm such a foodie. But I didn't want to take any chances of eating something or eating heavy before this whole process and then having to go to the bathroom and then missing out on something or even worse maybe i am selected but then i'm not there because i'm in the bathroom <laughs> so i decided not to eat now mind you with nothing really in my stomach and we're over exerting ourselves so we can get picked you know and noticed and stand out from all these other people wearing these crazy costumes you know um it really took a toll but i'll save that for later so fast forward um you know they're giving us the last you know the last do's and don'ts and what we're looking for and how you know you, you may be selected at this point but if you're still not showing us energy or anything then we can select somebody else and i'm like you know we we done came all the way from dallas texas and we ain't no locals so i damn sure we ain't gonna uh not cease this moment you know you better cease that moment so i'm like y'all want a show i'm gonna give you a show so uh <laughs> so um I, I put that blonde wig to work that blonde wig to work do you hear me I did, I did, I'm, I'm just saying. I mean, I wanted to make everybody laugh. I wanted everybody to know who I was and to stand out like a sore thumb. I'ma do it, I'ma do it. So um, anyway, so Wayne comes out, you know, looking all dapper and clean and just, you know, fresh and clean and professional and suave and all of that. And I didn't expect to be called so quick. I had a little inkling that maybe I would be picked, but as soon as the show started, it was like boom, boom, and you with the blonde wig. Man, I ran out there. I wasn't nervous. I wasn't scared or anything. And I just went out there, and it was like showtime at this point. So, you know, but it's crazy because it happened so fast. It was like things were going on, but I wasn't in the moment. I wasn't present at that time. It was just going with the flow. Boom, 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 boom. So, um, but overall, as you can see, if you did see the actual episode that I was on, um, which aired January 3rd, um, it was an incredible experience. I mean, besides me getting selected, um, winning a, a real decent prize and meeting Wayne and, and the other, you know, staff and, and crew and um, the other stars of the show, you know, and just seeing them in person, being on the set and everything like that it was very surreal it was like you watch this every day and to actually be on the set it was amazing and i'll and you know I've, I've always wanted to be in the entertainment business still striving and working hard to you know make a name for myself in this industry but it was nice just to have that little that little scratch of experience um to be in the professional professional side of it all and so um that's something I'll never, ever, ever, ever forget. And it was, um, it was, it was great, man. I'm just, I'm just happy and um, that I was able to accomplish something like that, and was able to share it with my family. You know, they see me trying to do some things. I'm trying to do some things. Your boy's trying to do some things, and I got some things coming out very soon um, that I'm hoping all of you support. You know, 
really working on um, music more and more and just trying to develop my own lane you know um, so just be on the lookout for that I'm also going to be doing <clears throat> a lot more YouTube videos so definitely support me on that so um, definitely like subscribe all of that um, to me you know let's let's support one another actually these days I think we really do need to support anything that you may have put off um, things you've been afraid of I mean even me trying to do this YouTube thing it, it's scary um, for a lot of people and then you wonder why the youtubers who are making buku money are doing it and I think they just got to a point where they just say F them all people gonna judge you regardless you, there might be so many dislikes on this on this video alone, but I can't let that bother me. People gonna judge you regardless, but do you, cause the support will come through, and you can't do nothing but just say that you're proud of yourself for even making that first jump, that leap of faith. And so that's what I'm doing, and um, just like for the show, you know, I was kind of not, I was kind of unsure of, of the energy that I was gonna bring but it all worked out for me. So um, I'm signing off on this video, but there'll be more, more videos to come. Um, but definitely be on the lookout for some new material coming out from me. And uh, let's try to make this 2020 and the years to come um, a blessed and prosperous time. That's all I can ask for. So sending all love and positive energy, no negative vibes from me, and um, let's all get what we want. Let's all get what we want. Let's not be talkers, let's be doers. And um, same thing I'm telling you is the same thing I'm telling myself. We gotta, we gotta make things happen. Ain't nothing gonna come to you. The only way it will is if you're doing something to get it. You gotta show people that you want it. All right.